Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in today's Fighter in Focus video, we're going to take a look at the Skeleton Champion. Here we go, here's our Skeleton Champion, and this miniature is taken from the Warcry Warband for the Legions of Nagash, and you used to be able to buy him as part of the Skeleton Horde set from Games Workshop, but that's been uh, no longer available now on the website. But for this fighter card, there's no reason why you couldn't use this other miniature, which is the miniature you get in the Death Rattle Skeleton pack, and you can use this guy no problem as the Skeleton Champion too. So if you didn't manage to get any of the Legions of Nagash miniatures, then you can certainly pick up some of these new Death Rattle Skeletons and then use the fighter cards and abilities from the Bringers of Death Warcry supplement book. Before we take a look at the Warcry fighter card and abilities, let's have a closer look at the model. And he's all painted with contrast paints. And I just go for a tabletop ready standard. I use some lead belch, a base paint as well, with some technical typhus corrosion for the metalwork to give it that aged look. And then on the cloth and wood and bone, I use contrast paints with a little bit of dry brushing. The kind of goal here was to make it look all dusty, like he's come out of the earth. And then for the base, I use some some of the uh, Games Workshop crackle paint with red underneath, so you can kind of see it's almost like a blood-soaked, dried-out earth. And that was the theme I was going with. So I wanted to represent that in the cloth too. I was really happy with how this army turned out. Pretty quick to paint. I think we got some really nice effects from it. And if we take a look at the height, we're looking at a total of 35 millimeters to the top of his helmet and 40 millimeters to the top of those horns. And if we go right up to the top of the sword, it's 55 millimeters and he's going to be on a 25 millimeter base. And then here you can see him compared with a necromancer. He's a little bit shorter than the necromancer with those horns just getting to the top of the necromancer's head and next to a Stormcast Eternal. He's completely dwarfed. That Stormcast Eternal's looking really big. I mean, if we look at the measurement here, that's like 60 mil to the top of the weapon there. And so he's, yeah, he's a good two centimeters taller than this skeleton so that should give you a good idea of the size but if there's anything else you'd like to know about this guy just let me know in the comment section below okay let's take a look at the warcry fighter card next and you can see he's coming in at 80 points he's got a movement of three toughness four can take 12 wounds he's got a rune mark here so he's going to get an ability of his own but he's also got the legions of nagash rune mark so we know he's going to get the abilities that come with that warband for his weapon, it's the sword with a range of one, making four attacks, strength three, dealing one to three on a crit. So for 80 points, we can get to use this skeleton champion, and he's not bad taking those 12 wounds. Toughness four is always good, and with that extra ability, let's hope that that will kind of be really good value for this 80 points. Making four attacks is nice, but he's not strong, and he's only going to deal one to three on a crit. But let's have a look at the abilities now and just see how that improves this fighter. And here we go. Now we've got the ability card. So we see this rune mark is the champion rune mark, which makes total sense for the skeleton champion to have that one. And that's going to give him this ability here, which is a double called chosen champion. And he's also going to be able to use the legions of Nagash only ability, which is a double called shambling horde. So let's take a look at the shambling horde first. And with this, a fighter can use this ability only if they are within six inches of a visible friendly fighter with the leader rune mark. This fighter can make a bonus move action a number of inches equal to half the value of this ability rounding up. So this is actually a pretty good ability for a double and we're looking for five or sixes here so we can take half that value round it up to three and then get some nice extra movement taking that from a movement three to a movement six. So a great way to close down the distance and get this fighter right in the action where it's all going on and get him to uh, get those four attacks into action. But now let's look at the next ability, which is the double called Chosen Champion. And with this, a fighter can only use this ability if they are within six inches of a visible friendly fighter with the leader rune mark. And we add one to both the attacks and strength characteristics of attack actions made by this fighter this activation. So with the Legions of Nagash, if you've never played them before, they really rely heavily on being close to their leader and the leader abilities 
if you have if you've seen the previous video I did on the necromancer really kind of show you that as well but here with this chosen champion again got to be within that six inches got to be visible of a, of a fighter with the leader room mark and then we can add one to the attacks and strength characteristics that's going to be great and it's for all the attack actions during the activation so if you've got them close enough and can make two attack actions during the activation then you're going to be able to take this up to a five so five attacks strength four dealing one to three on a crit and you can do that for both of those attack actions so for an 80 point fighter i think having this double ability is really great plays into the narrative of the skeleton champion and um, i really like this ability so i think for 80 points you've got to include this guy in there although he's not dealing a lot of damage you want to be making use of this double ability as much as you can getting that from a four to a five a three to a four and then even just dealing one to three damage you still got a great chance of inflicting some pain on the enemy and certainly taking out some of those lower point fighters so there we go that's the warcry fighter card and abilities for our skeleton champion and again no reason why you can't use this guy from the death rattle skeleton set and he's certainly going to work just as well and so if you haven't got a legions of the gash army then you can use the, the still fighter cards and all the stats and abilities for a death rattle skeleton warband. If you can get hold of the original Warcry warband for the Legions of Nagash, I can highly recommend it. It's great value. You get some awesome skeleton horde miniatures, you get five Graveguard, and you also get the Necromancer model. And so really great models to have, but in it you get the ability card, the fighter cards, and the set of tokens too. So great value if you can get it, but don't worry if you can't, you can certainly pick up the Graveguard separately. You can still get the Necromancer, and then you just use these Death Rattle Skeletons instead, and then get all the fighter cards and abilities from the Bringers of Death Warcry supplement book. And I'll put links to all of these things in the description below so you can easily find them. And those links will be to Element Games, but they won't cost you anything extra by using those affiliate links. In fact, it can save up to 20% there on all your game products and every sale made through a link. I get a small commission and that's awesome because it helps me develop the channel, do more videos like this. And I really appreciate that support for the channel. So thanks so much for that. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page. And thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas and help each other out. And you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description and it'll be great to see you there. I hope you enjoyed today's Fighter in Focus video. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Legions of Nagash and how they've now been replaced with the Death Rattle Skeletons and the Soul Blight Grave Lords. So join in in the comment section below. Be awesome to hear from you. And thanks so much for watching the video. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.